Hi, everyone. It's time once again for another Ask Dipper. That's me, and I'm here with more of your letters. Our first writer writes, Dear Dipper, is there any song you've recorded you wish you could go back and change or delete? From a fan from the United Kingdom, a.k.a. Merlin. Dear Merlin, yes, I once recorded a cover of Bread's If. It was awful. I even tried later to re-record it. It didn't get any better. Wish I could simply burn the copies out there, but the internet is forever. Oh, well. Our next writer writes, Dear Dipper, why was Wes or Les, or however you spell his name, picking on you when fans want you, but Birch tries to kill his advancements in the earlier episodes in the original story? If you ask me, it's kind of sad the fans don't realize that Birch is your manager and he doesn't allow it. Signed, Foxo Gaming. Dear Foxo, actually, Lester Crowley is our manager. It's just that Birch has the power to override anything Les does. But Birch seems very protective of me. Not exactly sure why. Might have something to do with some of the fan mail I get sent. Man, you would not believe the pictures I get. Oh, wait. I wasn't supposed to see those. Um, forget I said that, okay? Our next writer writes, Dear Dipper, if a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it and it falls and kills a mime, does anyone care? Sarcastic in Florida. Our next writer writes, Dear Dipper, I recently have become obsessed with somebody and started stalking them. Look out your window. No. Our next writer writes, Dear Dipper, why do I want to be a chubby bear? Dear Anonymous, for a reason. Look, I'm not a shrink, okay? You can take your weird obsessions up with them. Well, that's all the time we have for letters today. If you want to ask me a question, send it to the email address shown. Until then, I'm Dipper, and see you later.